We're here at Glenn Williams Glass Blowing Studios. We're gonna meet some real artists who work with glass and do amazing work. Let's go see. Hi, Katie. Hi. Welcome to the Glass Studio. Oh, thank you. I'm really excited to be here. We're excited to have you. I'm Skytree, and this is Tara. Hello. And we're two of the artists here. Wow, and everything's made out of glass? It is. Wow. So. What does it mean to be an artist that works with glass? Well, it means that we have to come up with ideas about what we want to make, and then everything that we make, we make out of glass. Wow. Can I see some of your stuff? Absolutely. What's this? It's a school of fish. Wow. And it's all made of glass. It's all glass. How did you make the fish? Well, we start with molten glass and some color, and then we shape it. It's complicated. Let me show you. Yeah? Yeah. Great. Whew. It's hot here. That's because we're in the hot shop. You need to wear safety glasses to protect your eyes. Oh, okay, good idea. I'll put on some safety glasses. We're standing in front of the furnace. There's 500 pounds of molten glass inside. Do you want to see? Yeah. Wow. It's just over 2,000 degrees. It's really hot. It is. You could roast marshmallows. It'd be a crispy marshmallow. It would be. <laughs> so all the glass that you use to make your art is in there? It is. We gather it out on pipes, and then we use tools to shape the glass. Ah. Oh. Should we make a fish? Yeah, let's make a fish. So Tara's heating up the pipe so that it's hot enough for the color to stick when she picks up the piece of color. Colors in the annealer right now getting warm. So it's just a little piece of color bar. Just gonna melt it and then she's going to shape it into a little cone. She's using the back of the jacks to shape the color. Now Tara's using what's called a block to shape the glass. She's going to heat it up, and then she's going to blow a bubble. So what she's done is she's blown some air into the glass, and then she's capped the hole on the end of the pipe with her thumb. So when the air reaches the hot glass, it gets hot and it expands. So she's using pinchettis to pull a little point. That will be the tail of the fish. And then she's using the jacks to put in a jack line. And that will be the mouth of the fish. And that's also how we get it off the pipe. So now Tara's using wet newspaper just to flatten the fish a little bit so that it's not perfectly round. So I'm going to get the googly eyes. So the fins are going to be a little bit more yellow than the fish. So this is going to be the punty that we're going to attach to the belly of the fish so that we can get the fish off the pipe. So then Tara is going to apply some water to the jack line, which is a stress point. And then, yep, she's going to tap the pipe and the fish falls off. So she's heating the mouth and 
mouth. She's going to use the pinchettis to shape the mouth, because right now it's just a hole. She's going to give the fish a bit of a smile. That was amazing. Thanks. So the fish is in the annealer now. What happens in the annealer? It's really hot right now, and it'll take until tomorrow to come down to room temperature so that the glass cools slowly. Oh, or else it'll crack. Or else it'll crack. Oh. That's why you're wearing safety glasses. Aha, yes. <laughs> and when I take it out tomorrow, it'll look like this. The fish! That's incredible. Thank you so much for showing us how you make your art. You're very welcome. <laughs>